friends welcome to my channel in this video we are going to learn simplex method so let us do a problem on the simplex method what is the problem given solve the following linear pro programming problem using simplex method maximize z equal to x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 and subject to the constraints 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 is less than or equal to 2 minus 2x1 plus x2 minus 5x3 greater than or equal to minus 6 4x1 plus x2 plus x3 less than or equal to 6 such that x1 comma x2 comma x3 is greater than or equal to 0 so this is the question okay let us solve the problem in an easy way so let us write the equations again what is the equations given here z equal to x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 right uh, that is subject to what is the equations 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 less than or equal to 2 okay i am writing uh, i am giving this space here because i will explain later okay here uh, remember one thing the right side here is the the value should be always positive it shouldn't be negative so here it is negative right so we have to add multiply it with minus 1 if you multiply it with minus 1 what is the equation you get 2x1 minus x2 plus 5x3 the symbol will also change it right greater than or equal to becomes less than or equal to 6 okay and what is the third equation 4x1 less than or equal to 6 yeah here what we have to do in the simplex method is we have to add one one slack variable in each of these constants okay s1 s2 and s3 okay we have added slack variables right so let me add this in the main equation 0 s1 plus 0 s2 plus 0 s3 okay you got it right and after the yeah after writing the three equations after adding the slack variables we have to draw a table like this okay here let me tell this it is bv is nothing but the basic variable okay yeah bv is nothing but basic variable and let us write the basic variables what are the basic variables here x1 x2 x3 s1 s2 and s3 okay so uh, what are the values here 1 2 1 0 0 and 0 okay 1 2 1 0 0 and 0 let us let me write the three slack variables here also s1 s2 and s3 what are the values here 0 0 0 right here slack variables value 0 0 0 yeah according to the question we have to we have written this table okay it is the initial table what is this initial table right it is the initial table okay and after that what we have to do the first equation what are the coefficients 2 1 minus 1 1 0 0 and what is the solution is 2 you got it right i'm just writing the coefficients of x1 x2 x3 s1 okay and we don't have s2 and s3 right that's why i have written 0 and next second equation 2 minus 1 5 0 1 0 and similarly 4 1 1 0 0 1 here 6 and 6 now after writing this table according to the question we have to write zj value here we are writing zj value what is the zj value is nothing but c 0 cbj into x1 see this one 0 into 2 plus 0 into 2 plus 0 into 4 what is the value 0 similarly 0 into 1 0 into minus 1 0 into 1 similarly we should have to calculate this what will be the uh, zj value 0 only right similarly this one also 0 and now we have to find cj minus zj value matlab 1 minus 0 1 2 minus 0 2 1 minus 0 1 0 0 0 you got it right here you have to check one optimal condition here you have to check one thing for maximum in this question what we have to do we have to find maximum only right maximum so for maximum the optimum condition is for maximum cj minus zj should be less than or equal to 0 and for minimum cj minus zj is greater than or equal to 0 okay here the variables like the values which we got should be less than or equal to 0 for maximum and greater than or equal to 0 for minimum here we got 0 but these three as greater than zeros so 
we have to find the biggest one biggest value here here it is 2 is the biggest value right so this will be the key column this will be the key column yeah first we have to find by seeing the cj judge value like which is the greatest positive value after seeing that we have to find the column as we have we can confirm the column as key column after finding the key column just we have to find the ratio how we have to find ratio 2 solution by the key column 2 by 1 2 6 by minus 1 minus 6 6 by 1 6 okay we have found the ratio after finding the ratio we have to check what is the lowest positive value lowest positive value 2 right so this will be the key row what will be this this will be the key row this will be the key column and this will be the key row and the intersection of key column and key row is the key element you got it right first you have to understand this one only what we have done in this table first we have in this table we have substituted the coefficients okay after substituting the coefficients we have found the judge value how we find the judge value 0 into 2 0 into 2 0 into like the cbj value and the x1 x2 x2 like that okay and we have added after finding the judge value we, we are finding cj minus judge value cj means here 1 0 1 minus 0 2 minus 0 like this we have find this value okay after finding cj minus judge value we are comparing the equation like for maximum cj minus judge value should be less than or equal to 0 right so it is not satisfying that so our it is not satisfying that so that's why we are doing we are finding the greatest positive value and we are declaring the column as key column after declaring the column as key column we are finding the ratio how we are finding the ratio the solution by key column how we are finding solution by key column after finding the ratio we are checking the lowest positive value we are checking lowest positive value after checking lowest positive value we are declaring that row as key row and the intersection of key row and key column is the key element so one is the here key element now let me draw the iteration one table okay yeah after completing this we have to draw again the same table see same cbj cj everything same and we have to write the basic variable value also x1 x2 this won't be changed okay s2 and s3 the value is also same 1 2 1 0 0 0 and here you have to see the key row what is the key row basic variable here s1 right s1 here it is going out and x2 is coming inside okay see this one is going outside and this one is coming inside okay then here in x in place of s1 we have to write x2 okay correct and after writing this see what is the x2 value here 2 right and we have to write here 2 and similarly s2 and s3 as it is 0 0 okay and after writing this for writing the row elements what we should have to do only for key row i am telling key row old value by for key row we have to write the formula old value by key element yeah for only key row i am telling what i am telling i am telling for only for the key row this is the key row right for this elements i am doing new value here it will become new value right for this place new value equal to old value by key element okay what is the old value here 2 what is the key element here 1 2 by 1 2 1 by 1 1 minus 1 by 1 minus 1 similarly 1 0 0 2 you got it right how you have written and next this is one only key row but what is this other what about other yeah that was that one only for we find the values that one for only for key row then what about others how we have to find that the simple formula is new value the the new value we are getting how to find that new value old value minus here old value is 2 correct old value 2 minus key row that means here hit 2 is there right row key row is this one right you have to find the upside element what is the key row value here 2 into key column this is the key column right the value in the key column of s21 is minus 1 right minus 1 by what is the key element here 1 1 so 2 minus 2 into minus 1 by 1 2 minus minus 2 2 plus 2 is 4 let me tell you another time okay here what i am telling is to find the new value in the other rows is old value first we have to check the old value what is the old value here 2 right old value okay old value we have written minus key row 
वट इज द की रो हियर टू राइट या वट द अपसेट दिस मतलब वी हैव टू चेक द अपसेट वन ओनली टू ओके एंड वट इज द की कॉलम हियर दिस वन एंड वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ की कॉलम हियर माइनस वन एंड वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ की एलिमेंट हियर वन ओके सिमिलरली वी गेट टू प्लस टू फोर लेट मी डू इट इन अदर वे सी सेम माइनस वन हियर वट इज द ओल्ड वैल्यू इज माइनस वन ओके माइनस वन माइनस वट इज द की रो वैल्यू हियर इस वन राइट वन इन टू वट इज द की एलिमेंट हियर माइनस वन ओनली की कॉलम वैल्यू ओके एंड वट इज द की एलिमेंट वैल्यू वन माइनस वन प्लस वन वट विल बी द वैल्यू जीरो सिमिलरली फाइव सी फाइव माइनस ओल्ड वैल्यू माइनस की रो की रो वट इज दिस वन माइनस वन इन टू वट इज द की कॉलम वैल्यू माइनस वन बाय वट इज द की एलिमेंट वन सो फाइव माइनस वन दट इज इक्वल टू फोर राइट फोर ओके सिमिलरली वी फॉर्म द वैल्यूज फॉर अदर वन ऑल्सो हियर फोर जीरो एंड फोर कंप्लीटेड राइट Yeah, we have computed four zero and four, right? Similarly, for S one also, old value here is one, one minus zero into minus one by minus one. Okay. Similarly, we have to find like I have already found this value set. That's why I am writing one, one, and zero, and it will be eight. And similarly, two zero, two minus one zero one, and this one is four. So. For finding the key row and this one, what we have done old value by key element, okay? And for other rows like S two and S, these two rows are there, right? For this other rows, what the formula? New value equal to old value minus key row. Here check once again I am not telling key row means here it is key row. For this value key row is here and the key element is key column is here and the key element is here. Key 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 element will be same for every time, okay? See two minus Two into minus one by one. You got it right. For the only key rows, we have to use this formula, and for other where other rows, we have to use this formula. Yeah. After writing these values, we have to find Z J. What is Z J? Two into two plus zero into four. How much? Four. Two into one. Two. Two into minus one. Minus two. Two into one. Two. Two into zero. 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 Four. Why I have written this directly? Because these are the zero, right? So if we multiply with zero also, it will be zero only. That way, only calculated two into two, two into one like that only. Okay? C J minus J J. One minus four, minus three. Two minus two, zero. One minus two, minus one. One minus of minus two, plus three. And this is zero minus two, minus two. And zero is zero. Here, if you see, both values are negative, but this one is positive. So this will be the key column. So we have to do another iteration. This is one iteration. Iteration one. We have to do it another iteration because C J minus J J value is greater than or equal to zero here. But what we have to get C J minus J J value should be less than or equal to zero. So this will be the key column. And after this is the key column, right? We have to find the ratio. Two by minus one, like solution by key column. Two by minus one minus two. Eight by four, two. Four by two, two. Here we have to check least positive value. But here both are equal, right? so we can take any one of those okay we can take any one of those two values here i am taking the middle one okay here i am taking the minimum so this will be the key column value and this will be the key row and this one is the key element okay for after doing one iteration we have to check what are the like cj value cj minus jj value is less than or equal to 0 or not if we don't find that If it is not satisfying that, then we have to go for another iteration. Okay, here we found again key row, key column, and key element, right? We can do another table also, right? So this is the another table. So here S two is going out, C C. S two is going out and X three is coming inside. So remaining values as it is. What is the remaining values? X two equal to two. Here X three is coming in and S two is going out, right? X three value is one. And S three remains same zero. Okay, you got it right. Here again, this is the key row, right? Key row, and this is the key element. For key row, what is the formula? Old value by key element. Four by four, zero by four, one by four, one by four, and zero by four, and eight by four. Let me write those. Four by four, one. See, four by four, zero by four, zero. Four by four, one. 
वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर एंड जीरो इट्स टू सी फोर बाय फोर वन जीरो फोर बाय फोर वन वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर टू ओके फैक्ट राइट वन जीरो वन वन बाय फोर वन बाय फोर जीरो टू यू गॉट इट राइट हाउ आई हैव रिटर्न एंड फॉर व्हाट अबाउट अदर रोड्स व्हाट इज द फॉर्मुला न्यू वैल्यू इक्वल टू ओल्ड वैल्यू माइनस की रो इन टू की कॉलम बाई टू की कॉलम बाई की एलिमेंट ओके ओल्ड वैल्यू माइनस की रो इन टू की कॉलम बाई की एलिमेंट ओके अगेन वॉट इज द ओल्ड वैल्यू टू माइनस वॉट इज द की एल की रो वैल्यू माइनस वन माइनस वन इन टू फोर बाय फोर 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 गेट कैंसल्ड माइनस ऑफ माइनस वन प्लस वन सो टू प्लस वन इज थ्री सिमिलरली वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू फॉर एवरी ओर सो आफ्टर फाइंडिंग दैट वी विल गेट फाइव बाय फोर जीरो फाइव बाय फोर वन बाय फोर जीरो फोर एंड सिमिलरली फॉर अदर रो वी हैव टू फाइंड द सेम जीरो माइनस वन बाय टू जीरो माइनस थ्री बाय टू माइनस वन बाय टू वन जीरो ओके सो इफ यू आर एवी इफ यू आर फेसिंग एनी डिफिकल्टीज इन फाइंडिंग दीज वैल्यूज नो यू कैन कॉमेंट इट डाउन सो दैट आई विल डू एंड दर वीडियो एक्सप्लेन दिस सेम क्वेश्चन ओके सो जस्ट कॉमेंट इट डाउन लाइक इफ यू आर गेटिंग द डिफरेंट वैल्यूज आर एनी थिंग सो यू कैन कॉमेंट इट डाउन जेड जे वॉट इज द जेड जे वैल्यू टू इंटू थ्री सिक्स प्लस वन इंटू वन सेवन राइट प्लस वन सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन टू इंटू फाइव बाय फोर टेन बाय फोर टू इंटू जीरो प्लस वन इंटू वन वन टू इंटू फाइव बाय फोर टेन बाय फोर प्लस वन बाय फोर इलेवन बाय फोर टू इंटू वन बाय फोर टू बाय फोर प्लस वन बाय फोर थ्री बाय फोर एंड जीरो देन वॉट इज द सी जे माइनस जेड जे वैल्यू सी जे माइनस जेड जे वन माइनस सेवन माइनस सिक्स टू माइनस टेन बाय फोर टू माइनस टेन बाय फोर इज एट माइनस टेन बाय फोर इट इज नथिंग बट टू माइनस टू बाय फोर इट इज वन माइनस वन बाय टू वन माइनस वन जीरो माइनस इलेवन बाय फोर माइनस थ्री बाय फोर एंड जीरो इफ यू कैन चिक एवरी वैल्यू इज लेस देन आर इक्वल टू जीरो राइट सो वी कैन स्टॉप अप टू दिस सेकेंड इटरेशन ओके सो वी वी कैन स्टॉप अप टू सेकेंड इक्वेशन सेकेंड इटरेशन सो आफ्टर दैट the value we have to find the solution what is the solution 2 into 4 8 plus 1 into 2 10 so optimum solution z equal to 10 when x2 equal to 2 x1 x3 right x3 equal to 1 we don't have x1 value so x1 equal to 0 okay and remaining s3 s1 s1 is equal to s2 equal to s3 equal to 0 only okay now it is correct or not for checking that we have to do one thing see What is the equation here? X one plus two x two plus x three, right? Z equal to x one plus two x two plus x three, right? Now substitute these values in this equation. X one zero plus two into x two two into two plus x three. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here in this place for x two we have to take the solution value, so it will be four, and x three to x three will be two. So we have to substitute four, and it will be two. Eight plus two that is equal to ten. Okay, don't forget that we have to take x two values as the solution value. X two equal to four, x three equal to two. So after substituting these values in the equation, we will get the optimal solution. So these should two should be equal. So this is the uh, this is the way to solve the simplex uh, method questions. So let me give you another question so that uh, you can uh, let uh, let you do. So, if you understand the simplex method, do this problem. I am giving you a problem. See, solve the following LPP using simplex method. Max z equal to two x one plus two x two plus four x three. Subject to the constraints, two x one plus three x two plus x three is less than or equal to three hundred. X one plus x two plus three x three is less than or equal to three hundred. X one plus three x two plus x three is less than or equal to two forty. Such that x one comma x two comma x three is greater than or equal to zero. So, this is the problem. Same problem. Same similar problem. Similar uh, process only. Simplex method. Okay, just do this and comment comment down the answer. If you if the answer is correct, I will reply to the, or else I will clarify your doubts in the comment sections. Okay, thank you guys. Our next video is about two-phase simplex method. Thank you.